Well, today we are fixing our $30,000 mistake. That's what I've been calling it. Um, haven't figured out a name for her yet, but she's super dirty. The shop's a mess. We got a million projects going on still. The hot rod's still here. It's almost done. It, it runs good. Um, we had to adjust the pedal a million times and fabricate brackets and those are in other videos but the only thing left I have to do is raise this because whenever it goes full throttle it hits right there actually if you look I put it on top of two uh, lock washers thinking that was going to give it enough but it didn't <clears throat> but anyway back to the skyline we got the uh rear spats on i really don't know how i feel about them i i think before it looked like it was missing something um this side didn't fit as well as the other side my fiberglass work wasn't the best on this one i missed that right there i'm not worried about it right now eventually um i don't even know what we're gonna do with the car we might sell it might keep it I might put an LS in it, who knows? It's really hard to tell. But today, we are going to hook up this oil catch can. I already have it mounted. Um, all I did was took two pieces of aluminum. I threaded the bolts right here and right here. Um, this is the Amazon special. I have a Motion Raceworks for the Corvette over there and a pile of crap under the pack and play But for this it was just like so when I bought the car I literally they they just had these hoses wide open um, Shoved down there by the intercooler piping also whenever I did this I found that the Hose for the blow-off valve was cracked so I'm hoping that um because my idle was a little funky and the guy told me he was like oh yeah you just gotta hit the gas and the, the idle will go down and i'm like come on man that that doesn't sound that sounds like a tuning issue uh 100 percent. they have the idle air control valve remote mounted and i actually modified this i think there's pictures of it on our instagram but I, I'm ordering a Frenchie's Performance uh, brand new AC kit. We got a Koyo radiator. Uh, we're sponsored by Mishimoto for the Corvette. So uh, we'll have another video on why we got a Koyo. Um, kind of a long story, but Mishimoto and I didn't see eye to eye on the sponsorship because we're small, we don't have a whole lot of followers and views yet, and um, I was like, listen, man, we're featuring you guys on two cars, and, you know, it kind of, it, it is what it is, but, uh, you know, we got the Koyo, we're getting a Frenchie's Performance Garage, um, Spall, it's a Spall fan, but they make the shroud, and it kind of goes with the, the AC kit because uh, the AC compressor on this is bad and I was like I'm not gonna just put a compressor on and I know there's that one company I can't remember their name but they make a bracket that you can put a uh, like an Infinity G35 AC compressor on it but um, I was like we're just gonna replace the whole thing but when I did this I think th this is actually this opens up on the ACs on I don't know why it would need more idle air, I guess just because of the extra load on the engine, but this was like barely sucking any air, like sucking just a little bit. So I, I cut it and I sealed it shut and I wanted a filter on this. Um, I don't know what this plug is for. I don't know if uh, R32 guy can chime in on that one, um, but that was disconnected when I bought it. Uh, the the wiring was an absolutely uh, absolute nightmare. That's in another video, but more moral of the story The catch can is pretty much kind of like a temporary thing uh, if if I keep the car we're gonna top mount it and um, I, I don't like how close these are together, but it was kind of like uh, 
you know, I, I just didn't want these hoses, like if I get caught in the rain or something, you know, we're in Florida, the roads will pull with water if it pours down. Like I didn't want to suck water through my, you know, uh, valve covers or PCV system. And I, I talked to the, the reputable shop that built this car many times and the guy at first was like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll help you with whatever you need. And when I asked him for help, he got mad because I went about it a different way than him and I turned out to be right. It was a wiring issue. He wanted me to get on the hall tech and see if it was if the if it was in sync and on a platinum pro according to hall tech which i got no help from by the way um according to hall tech the platinum pro plug and play standalones don't have that option so it is what it is but like i talked to the builder and i was like why would you mount the oil filter housing right below the sway bar uh uh strut tower brace sorry um you know what i mean like it could have went just a little bit that way and then there's no fuel filter they have the original fuel lines on the car all the way up until the front where they tie into an lines wow that one's loose <laughs> glad i saw that um just just little things the it's got a walbro 450 and it's on e85 at 420 horsepower and they use the factory 30 year old wiring for the fuel pump and i was getting a voltage drop of like six volts so um there was just multiple issues i, I think i have all that in another video but today we're going to be putting the valve cover fittings in and then I sent a picture of this to the guy and I was like, hey, I sent him other pictures of like good, you know, uh, like really good engine bays for RBs. And everybody that blocks off this um, port, they screw the thread, they screw the plug all the way in. Like, why would you leave that sticking out? That makes no sense. It takes two minutes to screw that in, not even. But. We're gonna screw that in. We're gonna take the valve covers off, paint them. Uh, probably put, I got a clear uh, timing belt cover. I don't know if I wanna use it or not or if I wanna paint this one. I haven't decided. Um, we have new radiator mounts. Uh, like I said, we, we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be doing to this car um, in upcoming videos. But today we're gonna like I said, put the valve cover fittings in and hook up the catch can just because I, I don't like these hoses just running down there. Um, I would have never done something like that, but that's just me. So I didn't get the expensive ones. I got the cheapies. These, uh, I want to say, I can't remember if I got them off. Of, I think I got them off of eBay, but they're not like the expensive swivel ones. Um, you know we're building two cars right now so we're on a budget uh we just had a nine month old baby and the wife will divorce me if i spend a ton of money so we got to be careful what we spend but let's see how hard these So we're gonna use Mechanic's Best Friend. If you go to your uh, mechanic's shop and you don't see any petroleum jelly laying around, I would be suspect on uh, how good of a tech they are, or mechanic, whatever you wanna call them.
few moments later. I don't know if I already said this in this video, but I reached out to uh, Raw Brokerage, and apparently it doesn't matter if it, if you have your PCV system like mine with the, I believe it's the Fresh Air uh, block off plug on the intake valve cover. It doesn't matter if your oil catch can has an inlet and an outlet and it is labeled that way. It doesn't matter. You can put the exhaust as the outlet or the intake as the outlet, vice versa. Allegedly, the information I got, it does not matter. And that is if you are routing your catch can the way I routed mine. If you're routing your catch can a different way which a quick google search will show you then you need to do it that way um whether it has an inlet or an outlet on the uh, diagram i don't know but i know for my way the way that mine is done in the video allegedly it doesn't matter if your inlet or your outlet is a intake or exhaust Also, when you do your AN fittings, you put the, everybody, you know, like I said, does them their own way, but the way that I do them, obviously you can see in the video, I take the one end that goes over the hose and I slide it on there and then I take the end that threads in with the nipple part on it and I put a little bit of petroleum jelly or oil on it um as you can see in the video and then i thread it in um if you do this a lot if you're a shop obviously you're probably gonna have an wrenches i don't i'm cheap uh that's why i taped them up so i didn't scratch them because regular wrenches will scratch them so if you like I said, don't have AN wrenches. I'm assuming Amazon has some cheap ones, but I just used an adjustable and put some tape on it. If you're careful, you won't scratch them. That's the way I did it. You can do it however you want to, but that was uh, the easiest way I, I figured it out. For the time being, he's in his pack and play, but he's not gonna be cool for long, so we gotta hurry up. Inside. You won't go inside. You won't go inside. <laughs> 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 